up. Man, we must have two or three guilty. Whew. Man, I feel somebody. Yes, but God knows you behind that. Yes, sir. And you can train yourself. You don't have to run in here and announce it. But just start doing things, reading the Bible, and do it the way God said it. Me and you ain't, we ain't got one authority to, to change anything, make make the Bible be what you want it to be, right. or me make it be, it's me, it means God done got the holy men of God. Me and you ain't the holy men of God. But God had holy men of God to write these things. <laughs> men that walked with God, men that didn't get involved in all the cares of life. Back in those days, people had to struggle to live, you know. Amen, Brother Terrell. Oh, oh, be quiet back up. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. I'm just telling the truth. Let's get back. Let's listen to Jeremiah and get our souls back in here because something can happen in this world. Something can happen in this country. We've had two presidents. One in now, one just went out. That if, if, if they keep on, they'll have this country destroyed before this dude up there now gets out. I heard, you say, well, I heard someone ask him on TV, do you believe in Jesus? Well, I don't know. Maybe he could be. I said, you ugly, purified, dirty devil, die and go to hell, and then you know there's a Jesus. I told the TV that one. Man, I wish you could have heard me. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. There is a Jesus. He could be. He is before any of us. I say he is. He was with all the old prophets before the foundation. Well, one day he told the Father, I'd be willing for you to turn me into a little baby in a virgin's room and let me grow up and grow and learn how to resist the devil, no, learn how to be a man, learn how to stand up and God well, Jesus said he was with God before the foundation of the world. He willing to become a little baby to get in a virgin's womb to come out and to, like me and you do and, and nurse and come out and grow up like a regular kid. But he made it. And through all that growing up, our Lord didn't fail. I said our Lord didn't fail. Hallelujah. Our Jesus didn't fail. He paid the price. Thank God he grew being about 30 years well, out there being fought. But then he announced himself. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm of the God of God. I, hallelujah. I ain't a regular man. I, God, hallelujah, I don't have no man in me. I'm a soldier of the cross. I'm one, hallelujah. Praise God. I said, hallelujah. Let's get back with this Jesus. Let's get back with this Lord. Let's get back to the old landmark. Let's get back on our knees. Let's sell out to God. Let's wake up. Let's stir our souls. Let's wake our souls. Let's get the devil out of here. Let's get the devil out of the churches. Get the devil behind you. <coughs> oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. My, my, my. What a Savior. Oh, hallelujah. And read that 16 verse again. Then I want to go to Hosea. Oh, I feel the Lord. You don't feel him? I feel the Lord. I'm not trying to be rough. I'm just trying to. Man, I tell you, sometimes you got to come down. You know, you just can't say to your children, please sit down. Quit, please quit playing in the mud. And you got to say, son. And do it with love, but do it with firmness. Yes. Yes. People in our day don't know how to raise kids. Yes. Just a few of them probably. You know, well, we're God's kids. Yes. You ain't grown, I ain't grown. Right. We got to grow yes. in grace. Yes, sir. We got to grow in knowledge. You didn't get that when you was born. You got to grow in knowledge. You got to grow in truth. 
That's what's wrong with preachers and pastors. They're not growing in truth and righteousness and true holiness. And, and when some of them do, they don't come in showing the people, instead of uh, uh, criticizing them, but showing them that God loves us all. There ain't a person in here that God loves more than, than anybody else in here. God is no respect to person. It don't make no difference what nationality you are. You're soldiers. Hallelujah. Well, I hope this comes to pass. I will give you pastors according to my heart which shall feed you with knowledge and we and understanding. Oh, Jesus. Most of the time you hear, I've had people just come up someplace, say, would you please pray for so-and-so? Said, Every time we go to church, all he does is criticize us. And I, I don't want to. I don't know where else to go. She said, who done all that? I wouldn't tell you. I said, all I know, get in there and get a hold of God anyhow. Get in there before church and bombard them heavens. and Thank you, Jesus. And get a hold of the horns of the altar. Glory. But he said here, and if he can do this, we're getting closer to the coming of the Lord. Move on, brother. Move on, sister. This is the moving time. Better get out of here or get in here. Come a little closer. Oh, hallelujah. How I many know this is a moving time? This is the coming, doing the first works overtime. Hallelujah. I will give you pastors according to my heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Man, it's that great. But where are these guys at? You know, some of you preach afraid to, to, to get in here and feed you all this knowledge and wisdom. Afraid that you'll Move on somewhere else. Well, God may have you there to, to prepare yourself to go somewhere else. And you feed them what, what God is feeding you if, the, if we'll do it. You can't hold people. You take these little old babies. they sweet and they get three or four years old. And then they get 10 years old. And then, oh, and then they get 12 years old. Then they get 15 years old. Then they get 20 years old. And after a while, they don't want you to run around with a bottle sticking in their mouth. I'll pull your breast out and let them nurse. All right. There comes a time that you become a man. Well, if that be so naturally, then there come a time we be steadfast and be a gospel man. Be steady. Be firm in the Lord Jesus Christ. Be in there and can't be moved. Steadfast in him. God ain't through. He ain't changed. The Bible said Jesus Christ is the same today, yesterday, and forever. If that be so, then God is the same today, yesterday, and forever. God said, I am the Lord and I change not. It's us <coughs> that's trying to promote ourselves. Let's promote the Lord. Jesus didn't say if I be lifted up, me, I, but he said if he be lifted up. If I, if I go to Calvary, if they nail me on that tree, then I'm going to call all people under me. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I will give you pastors according to my heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And this is going to pass when you, ye or you 
be multiplied and increased in the land. In those days, saith the Lord, they shall say no more. I am the ark of covenant of the Lord. Neither shall it come to, to mind. Neither shall they remember it. Neither shall they visit it. Neither shall shall that shall that be done anymore. God is telling us. Then I want to go back to one and two. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I want to go back to, to over here to, to Hosea. For Israel, for Israel shall backslide as a backslidden heifer. Now the Lord will feed them as a lamb in a large place. And examine them. Join to idols. Let them alone. That's what God's doing in these times. Let them alone. They're so, they have committed whoredom. Whoredom. Continually. And a ruler shall shame, and the rulers are with shame, and do love and give you. The wind hath bore up in their wings. They shall be ashamed because of their sacrifice. Think about what God is telling me and you here. Then here in Hosea, the first 16, 4, chapter 4, 16, 16. Well, I got that, and I want to get one here. Isaiah, uh, uh, Hosea, uh, and the same, and 14. That's where I'm going. 14. O Israel, this is a couple of verses. O Israel, return unto the Lord. Thy uh, your God, for thou you have fallen by their iniquities. Take with you words. Turn to the Lord. Say unto him, Take away all iniquity. Receive us as graciousness too. So will we be we so will we render Fruit of our lips shall not save us. We shall not ride upon horses. Neither will we say any more to the work of our hands. You are our gods. For in thee are you the fatherless finds mercy. I will Heal them. Oh, backslidden. Oh, backslidden. I will love them. Feed them. My anger is turned away from them. Otherwise, God is saying, I'm giving them a chance. I was angry at them, but I am letting that go. Yes. Trying to get them back in here. And that's what, but he has to do it through you. He can't do the you and you every time because a few people showed up. Well, I guess. God will help us, people. I said, God will help us. I will heal their backsliding. I will love them, feed them with my anger. And turn away from him. I will be as a dew under Israel. Be growth as the lilies. Cast forth as roots as Lebanon. And the branches shall spread. And its beauty shall be as the olive trees. And smell as, I can't pronounce that. But I got otherwise have a good smell. And they that dwell under his shadows shall return and they shall re revive us 
Revive us or as the corn and grow the vine. Think about it. Thou shalt be as the wings of Lebanon and Egyptians. Egypt shall say, what have I to do anymore with idols? I have heard him and observed him and I am like him. I am like a green fir tree. From me is your fruit found. Who is wise? Who shall understand these things? He that knows him for the way of the Lord are right. And the just shall walk in them and the transgressors shall fall therein. Better think about this. I'm telling you people, we are, Jesus said over here, I've been mentioning a lot in my preaching lately. Jesus said, I'm the vine and you the branches. And if you've ever woke yourself up, it is time for pastors, it's time for evangelists to get out here and quit going in these churches and trying to condemn everybody. You let the pastor be the one that does that. You get in there and feed them the word. You know, nowadays these evangelists wants to get up and take authority over people. That ain't their job. It's a pastor. <laughs> it is the pastor that's got to instruct the people. And if we'll do that, we will find that the Lord Jesus will pull us out of this mess. I mean, the church was in a mess, people. You run around here and just overlook if you want to. You may run that old car and run it and run it and run it and burn all that, that fuel, you know, that you put in there to keep that motor running. And that's why you burn that life out of that oil. Yeah. And you may say, well, and you can't, that's the reason they tell you ever so many miles you change it. That's what's wrong. We done burn up. And that all we got ain't the oil of gladness no more. You hear what I'm saying? It's not the oil of gladness. And we done burn up things. But if we'll open our hearts, we'll find that the Lord, hallelujah, will get us back on the main line. And if the pastors don't do it, if the evangelists don't do it, don't support them. Boy, I shouldn't have said that. But anyway, hallelujah. Get you somebody to feed you. And if it's evangelists, get somebody who won't be always criticizing you, but to help you. God don't send evangelists in here to, to, to criticize people. He sends us in here to, if people do have a habit, they don't need to be down and exposed. They need to have somebody can set them free. And if we set them free, they'll be free indeed. <laughs> Thank God. Let's come around this altar. The Lord willing, sister or other, tonight to be the, if the Lord leads that way, the last of the uh, praying for the sick. So get them in here for tomorrow. It's going to be the Lord willing anointing service. And I don't want nobody coming up. So if you know anybody that needs prayer, make sure you get them here because. Uh, if I come in here in the morning, people want to be prayed for, I'm just going to throw off track that fresh anointing. You understand? You can't, you can't do two things. So let's come to the altar. Thank God. We're going to ask Brother Taylor to pray with you a little bit. Come on, get in here and say, Lord, I know he made me mad, but, but now help me get glad. <laughs> Hallelujah. I know he made me mad, but help me get glad. Help me get back on the main line. Glory, thank you. God. Help me get back on the main line. Come on, everybody. Glory. Come on, my Lord. Yo, oh, my God, come on. That word didn't make us mad. It got us on the right track, didn't it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, God, for your words, Lord, how you take your time, God, and open up our eyes so we can see where we stand. God, we're grateful to you. We thank you for that, Lord, and because of your word today, we humble ourselves in these altars, and we ask you 
Forgive us of our sins. Forgive us of our backsliding. Forgive us of our slacknesses, our slowfulness. Lord, we've totally turned away. God, and we ask you right now, Lord, to revive us again. Search our hearts out. Search us out, Lord, each and every one of us, Lord. God, we pray that you would take control of our lives and help us, Lord. God, put a stir back down on the inside. Put a drive back down on the inside of us. Lord, that we'll learn to press again. That we'll learn to strive to enter into the kingdom. God, you've set before us an open door. You've set before us a table, God. You've spread a great table before each and every one of us, God. And your word is telling us now to come and dine. Come, Lord, you're calling us to come to you. And Jesus, today we come to you reaching out with all of our hearts. Asking you right now, God, to wash us from the top of our heads down to the sole of our feet, Lord. Let the blood of Jesus be sprinkled over our hearts, over our minds. God, let the blood of Jesus be sprinkled upon our families, our children, our grandchildren. God, get us back to Zion. Get us back to that place where we're supposed to be. Lord, get us back to that dedication. Get us back to that prayer life of fasting, searching for you with all of our hearts. Lord, revive us again, Lord. I need a revival in my soul. I need revival in my heart. Come on and tell him. Lord, I need revival, Lord. Lord, I need revival, Jesus. Lord, I need this word. I need this word, Lord, to continue to open up my eyes, Lord. God, sometimes we stray off course and don't even know it, Lord. But your word put us back on course time and time again. Help us, Jesus. Help us to get back in that straight and narrow path. God, you said straight is the gate. Now is the way that leads to life. Few there be that find it. God, I want to be one of those that find it today. I want to be one of those that can enter in through that straight gate, Lord. So continue to search my heart out. Continue to wash my mind. Purge my, my heart, Lord. Bridle my tongue, Jesus. Unstop my ears. Open up my eyes. Break up my follow ground. Help me today. God, take the pride out of my heart. Take the arrogance out of my heart. Help me to become as a little child before you. Lord, you said except we repent, be converted, and come as a little child. We cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. God, help me to get in. I want to get in. Come on, somebody tell him, Lord, I want to get in. Lord, I want to get in, Lord. Lord, I'm knocking at that door, Jesus. I want to get in. I don't want this door shut up on me. I don't want this door shut on my family. God, I want to get in. I don't want this door shut on my church. God, we want to get in. I'm knocking, Lord. Lord, I'm knocking. I'm asking. I'm seeking, Lord Jesus. Help us today. Help us today, Lord. God, to enter on into the kingdom. God, in Jesus' name, break up our fallen grounds. Whatever it takes, whatever you got to do, Lord, I can't save myself. I can't deliver myself. Oh, Lord, I need you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I need you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I need you. Get a hold of my heart. Get a hold of my heart. Get a hold of my heart. Come on and tell him. Lord, get a hold of my heart. Lord, I'm just the old clay. You're the potter. Lord, you're the potter. Make me all over again. God, make me all over again, Lord. Make me the vessel you want me to be. Make me the vessel of honor, Lord. Not a vessel of dishonor, Jesus. Help us, help us, help us, help us. Help us as pastors. Help us as evangelists. Help us as Holy Ghost believers. Help us at this time. God, if we ever got stirred up, stir us up, Lord. If we ever got woke up, wake us up at this time, God. All in the name of Jesus. Lord, raise up that army. Oh, Lord, everybody lift your hands and ask him, Lord, raise up that army. Raise up that army, Lord. Raise up that people, God. And you said you would have in the last days. You said you call your mighty ones. You said you call your most sanctified ones for the battle. Lord, help us to get in. Oh, Jesus, help us to get in, Lord. Help us to get in, Lord. 
Help me to get in, Jesus. Help me to get in, Lord. God, in Jesus' name, Lord, help us today. God, move all of our reproaches. Take away the reproach. God, the reproach that's on our life, the reproach that's on our ministries, the reproach that's on our churches, take away that reproach. Lord, as you've done Elizabeth, God, for nearly 80 years or so, Lord, she bore that reproach, but you took away her reproach one day. My God, in the name of Jesus, take away our reproach. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. All in the name of Jesus. Get us ready. Lord, get us ready. Get us ready. Come on, lift them hands and ask him. Lord, get us ready. Get us ready, Lord. No matter what you got to do, Lord, you know how to save a man. You know how to save a woman, Lord. You know how to do it. Whatever you got to do to get us in, Lord, get us in. Get us in. I don't want to be lost. Lord, I don't want to be lost, Lord. My wife and I, we don't want to be lost. Lord, I don't want my grandkids lost, Lord. Oh, God, get us in. Open up our eyes, Lord. My God, unstop our ears, Jesus. Help us today. All in the name of Jesus. Move, Lord. Move, Lord, by your spirit, by your power. In Jesus' name, we trust you. We believe you. We thank you. We thank you. Come on, lift them hands one time and say, Lord, your word has not offended me. Your word does not offend me. Lord, your word helps me. Your word delivers me. God, your word take the scales off of my eyes. God, continue to anoint Brother Turner. Continue to give him what he needs to step out here. Lord, if nobody receives it, I receive it. I believe it. And I thank you for it. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Remember the service tonight and be... And pay close attention to what he's saying. Get everybody that needs prayer, get them out here tonight because he don't want that service interrupted in the morning. Praise the Lord. So, you know, anybody that needs prayer.